Okay, hi guys. I just want to make it clear that this video is only made for entertainment purposes only. Please don't be offended by anything in this video. This video is not made to discriminate against anyone or anything like that. I'm trans myself. I'm not going to hate on anyone or I'm going to hate on some characters, but they kind of deserve it. It's not their fault that these characters suck. So... Yeah, but if you don't need to protect your feelings from my offensive ranking system, you might need to protect your internet access. That was pretty smooth, wasn't it? Because this video is actually sponsorship with NordVPN. And if you don't know what a VPN stands for, it's a virtual private network that helps you keep your internet access private from any third parties. Because if you didn't know, when you're online doing whatever you're doing online, third parties can actually track your activity online and steal your data. And a VPN helps you with keeping your internet access private and safe. However, what I mostly use NordVPN for is to change my IP address to another country and that way I can access the regional content on other streaming services. So for example, the American Netflix is way better than the Swedish Netflix and I live in Sweden so I can change my IP address from one day to another and access the regional content which is honestly like amazing. It's like having more streaming services in one, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you're interested in getting NordVPN yourself, and I truly recommend it, I have a huge discount, an amazing deal for you. If you click this link, if you click this link down below or my description box, top comment, and also they have a 30 days money back guarantee, which is just also amazing in itself. And I honestly recommend it so, so, so much. But thank you so much to NordVPN and also thank you for everyone who's supporting me by supporting the companies that I work with. But now, without further ado, let's get into the ranking system. So, as you can see here, I have this kind of ranking system. I made it myself and I will link it down below as well. So the first, the best top tier is iconic, kind of self-explanatory. The second tier is a living in my head rent-free. Maybe from time to time, I think about this character in a bad or in a good way. And then we have fetch. That is so fetch. It's an amazing word, but also it didn't really happen, so... Yeah. And then we have as if. Oh, as if. Didn't really like them. Not for me. They did some things right, but you know, as if. And also jail. This character was just awful. Straight to jail. Whoever made this character should be put away. Those are the tiers. And as I said, you can use this tier list yourself in my description box. But let's get into the ranking. On the Monday. I'm going to start off with this person. I think you all know who this person is. No, God! No, God, please, no! They are in Silence of the Lambs, and she's actually based on a real person, and that person was not a good person. This character is just straight to jail. This is very self-explanatory. Whoever doesn't agree with this, um, they should also be put to jail. I don't think that I need to add anything more. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. And then we have another character who is based on a real person, and this is the person here. I think the movie is called The Danish Girl. As I said, it's based on a real-life person. I think she was the first person to underwent the gender reassignment surgery or something like that. I'm just going to be completely honest. I'm not seeing the entire movie. However, she's played by a male actor, which I'm not really a fan of. You know, I understand the reasoning behind that direction of using a cisgender person portraying a trans character, and that's just because they show off this trans woman's entire life, like from start to finish. So I do understand why they did that. However, I also feel like they could have easily went with a trans character and still show off that transitioning. I'm kind of iffy about this, but I feel like this is smack down in the middle. It's fetch. I mean, it's good. It really is very powerful story of this trans person. However, I felt like they could have gone with a trans person playing 
a trans character. So yeah. So another one bites the dust and this girl goes straight to jail. She goes straight to jail. Cece Drake. If you've seen PLL or Pretty Little Liars, the original, this character's spoiler alert so happens to be trans. And girlies, let me be completely honest with you. She, she deserves, deserves to be straight to jail. First of all, she's like the big baddie. She's like a really awful person. She does a bunch of awful things. The other thing is that this character is portrayed by a cisgender person, which makes it much more awful. She's portraying a horrible human being and then she isn't even trans herself. Very problematic. And then this is like, the worst thing. She transitions in secret and comes back just to date her, her own, own brother, brother without, without him knowing. knowing. Stop it. Get some help. He like, what in the Alabama? Like, what in the Alabama is happening? She's a trans character portrayed by a sister to prison. She's the big baddie. She's awful. And then she dates her own brother without him knowing this person deserves to go straight to jail straight to jail throw away the key it's disgusting girl stay away from me like you're doing the nasty with your brother and he doesn't know he doesn't even know that they're siblings you're a nasty girl okay and then we have hose and it's iconic okay it's iconic no no i don't think you understand i'm obsessed I don't think that I need to say anything more, but if you haven't seen it, seen it. I'm not going to put every single character in different categories. I'm just going to put the entire show in iconic because there are so many different trans characters and the show is just iconic. I have nothing else to say. Like they're portrayed by real trans characters. They're portraying real problems that real trans people go through. It's just like very good. Go watch it right now. Thank you. Then we have another iconic queen, Unique Adams in Glee. If you haven't seen the show, it's like fever dream. The whole show is incredibly wild. However, they did this character right. I'm not entirely sure if the actor is trans playing this character. Don't quote me on that, they are. This character is so, so good. The show is doing her justice. They're actually portraying how life is for real transgender person. It's amazing and gotta, I just gotta put her in iconic. So yeah, then we have another iconic girl, which is Sophia right here. She's also portrayed by a real transgender actor. She's in Orange is New Black. I've not seen the entire show, so I can't really speak how this character is portrayed in the entire show. But however, it's just very well crafted and the actress playing her, she's really, really, really good. She's really good. She's really good. And then we have uh, this girl. I mean, I gotta say, if you haven't seen Ugly Betty, it's a wild show. It's a wild, wild, wild show. I don't know how to describe Ugly Betty. It's like an offensive mess and I'm just here for it. La, 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 la. Wind it up, my. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Yours, I can take you, but I have to start. Bring it! Just look at this picture. Just look at this picture right here. This is how they portrayed this trans woman. And also she's not portrayed by a real trans actress. Like shocker, not really. In some ways the character is portrayed in a really good light and in other ways it's really inaccurate and they're kind of lying how life is as a trans person. However, I gotta say that this was like in 2008 or like in 2005 or something like that, which was very early on. In this was actually the first trans character I ever come across in a TV show or in movie. So it was really progressive for its time. I got to hand it to them. And for the sake of her being the first trans character I ever come across in a TV show, I got to say living in my head rent free. I think about this character a lot. They kind of helped me along the way in accepting who I really was. That's amazing. And also this show is really wild. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy.
And then we have another character who kind of deserves living in my head rent free and that is Jules from Euphoria. If you've seen my video, the problematic structure on Jules, watch it here, here. I've linked it somewhere. Anyways, in that video, I talked about the flaws and the problematic structure with Jules. However, she deserves an honorable mention in living in my head rent free. Even though there are some problematic things in this show, she She's still portrayed by a real trans actress. They do a really amazing job from time to time in portraying how life is as a trans person. The reason behind me doing the video that I did, because the director really gives himself a pat on the back just for having a trans character in the show. And then there are a lot of flaws with this character and like how he portrays her life. I'm just saying that on this list, she deserves an honorable mention in living in my head rent free. And then Quagmire's mother in the TV show Family Guy. And I'm going to put her in as if. I gotta make this quick. It's awful. This entire show is incredibly offensive to all different kinds of people. They did her dirty, but they could have done her dirtier. I'm just saying. In some ways, they really portrayed her well in others. They did not. I gotta put her in as if. And then we have this character right here. He's also from Glee. And I have very strong opinions on this character. Let me be clear. I love representation of trans people and in LGBTQ people in general. However, I do feel like they took this existing character and transformed him to a trans person when this person was not trans to begin with. And it was just like... I don't know why they did this. It felt very iffy and weird and I didn't really enjoy it at all. I really liked this character before he transitioned. The character is called Coach Beast. She was portrayed in a very amazing way. I mean, she was portrayed as the ugly duckling. She struggled with not feeling feminine enough and like the beauty standards for women that she didn't meet up to. And it was just very amazing to see. They really portrayed her character really well. And then in, in later seasons, they just switched her character completely like 180. Everything was different with her and then she just happened to be trans and she wanted to transition and I think that took away from the earlier seasons when she really struggled to meet the beauty standards and I do understand that can happen. However, I didn't really feel like that was going on. I think they wanted more trans people on the show. However, in that case, I think they could have added another character, not switching a already existing character completely for the sake of having more trans people because honestly I really liked his character before he transitioned. I don't really understand it and I'm not really enjoying it at all. I think that they did everyone a disservice so I'm just going to put him in as if because honestly as if. I don't like it. This character is called Theo and he's in Sabrina Teenage Witch, the Netflix show. Honestly, I'm going to say living in my head rent free. He's a really good character. They're portraying his story from beginning to end and they're protective of him. I do really enjoy everything in regards to his transition. So I'm going to put him in living in my head rent free because I do really enjoy his character. So that's that. And this is Felicity Huffman in a movie about a trans woman trying to reconnect with her son. I do really enjoy this movie and Felicity Huffman portrays the character really well, but she also happens to be cisgender. She's not transgender. The movies were very well crafted and it's very good and it portrays how life is for trans people. So I'm going to put it in Living In My Head Around Free or like maybe in Fetch. Like, the movie's really good, but also it's kind of boring. Um <laughs> Hi guys, Matilda from the future here. I have no freaking idea what the hell I was thinking putting this movie in fetch. This movie is a gem and also it was made in like 2005, which was really early on. So even if Felicity Huffman is not trans herself, it's still a really good movie and it was really progressive for its time. So honestly, it does not deserve the slander. I don't know what the hell 
was thinking. Maybe I was stupid. Maybe I was dumb. Maybe I was both. I have no idea. But I'm just letting you know that this movie deserves living in my head rent free or even iconic. Just completely forget everything I said, everything you saw. Just like forget it. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. Bye. And then we have this character right here, Liz Taylor, which so happens to be pretty iconic if you ask me. It's from the show American Horror Story. Her character is really well crafted. You do really feel for this character. I'm not going to spoil anything, but she might be a baddie, <laughs> but she's like a good baddie. She's, she's not like Cece Drake. She's not like Cece Drake at all, but the character is really well crafted. If you ask me, these are my personal opinions. So I'm going to put her above all of these characters. I'm going to do that. That's just because I really want to and I do really like her character. So yeah, I'm going to put her in iconic because she's an iconic. I'm so glad we had that talk. And then we have, I think this character is called Danielle. She's from Big Mouth, the Netflix show. I do really love what they've done with this character. I think it's incredibly well-crafted. I feel like I say that a lot, like everything well-crafted, but honestly, this show really knows what transgender people are going through. I felt like that myself when I transitioned and honestly, I've really not seen something that well-crafted on TV before. When when I watched these episodes, I laughed. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm doing a commercial for Big Mouth. I laughed. I smiled. I was happy. Big Mouth, where you're happy. No, but all jokes aside, I do really enjoy this show and I really identified with the character and I really saw myself in the progression that she went through and everything like that. So I'm going to put her right behind Pose. And I'm going to put so yeah I haven't really thought about the order of these and CC Drake is definitely better than her I think this is how I want it from now on okay let's continue and then we have this character and she's from the remake of Gossip Girl I saw one episode of that show and I was just like this is not for me I didn't even know that she happened to be trans I just watched it because I really like the original Gossip Girl and then I watched this and it was just like too awful I had to I'm just making it known <laughs> the show was not good However, I do really enjoyed her character. I've read about this since I haven't seen the other episodes. She is portrayed by a real trans person. So she goes straight up to top tier of Fetch. Since I can't really say anything about her character, since I haven't actually seen the full capacity of her character, I can't actually say anything more since I haven't seen the entirety of her character. So yeah, I'm going to put her in high fetch. Way better than both of these people because she's actually portrayed by a trans actress. So let's move on to Dreamer, aka Nala. She's in Supergirl and she's really good. Like she's really good. She's portrayed really well and she's portrayed by a real trans actress. So I'm going to put her living in my head rent free because that costume is just like everything but also does she live in my head rent free i mean she does because the costume is really wild <laughs> this character alexis mead is living in my head rent free on repeat daily however she's not well portrayed to any degree so i gotta put her last but she does oh live in my head rent free Anyways, let's move on to the last person of today. That is Elliot Page in Umbrella Academy. Not my favorite show, not my favorite show. I do really like Elliot Page. Mm, I, no, 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 not in jail. I accidentally put him in jail. Release that man. I do really love Elliot Page. I loved X-Men or I still love X-Men. He's in that and I love him as an actor. Elliot Page and I love him as like Elliot Page. I gotta put him in living in my head rent free. So yeah, that's my entire tier list. And I know that this video was way too long. Uh, this video is going to be painted the to edit. I'm just putting it out there. If you watched 
up until this point. You're the OG. You're amazing. Thank you so much for that. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. And if you're interested in getting NordVPN yourself, click the link down below, top comment, and get this amazing huge deal and thank you so much for checking them out and supporting the companies that i work with because whenever you support the companies that i work with you also support me as well so thank you for that and also please 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 like comment and everything like that on this video because it was really really long and it would help me tremendously in pushing this video out to more people so yeah and i'll see you in the next one bye guys